everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I've got a gift guide for the person on your list who might be kind of that aspiring home barista, the person who's always really enjoyed the experience of like that coffee shop, espresso drink, and they wanna start being able to craft those drinks on their own at home, and they're looking for gear to get started doing that. So this is gonna be a spread of stuff that if you're shopping for somebody like that on your list, whether you have a little bit extra to spend or you wanna go in on some group gifts, these are gonna be awesome choices for them. So let's get started first with the machine. So I've got a Solus Barista Perfetta here. So this is going to be a semi-automatic espresso machine that is kind of in that sort of entry level price range without going too crazy, but is also gonna give you really solid performance for being a more entry level machine. So what we love about this machine and the reason why we think it's one of the best machines that you could possibly start with for making espresso at home is that it has what are called pressurized and unpressurized portafilter baskets. So your portafilter is what the espresso or the coffee grounds go in and then it gets locked in up here. It's this guy right here. And the pump presses water through the grounds and into the portafilter and then into your cup or receptacle underneath. So a pressurized portafilter basket is going to allow your, your grounds to be a little less perfect. So not, they don't need to be quite as fine. They don't need to be quite as carefully dialed in because it's gonna help provide some extra back pressure to get just the right pressure balance. However, a lot of espresso enthusiasts really like to fine tune the flavor of their espresso and really get those grinds dialed in. And so it also has that portafilter basket that doesn't have that extra pressure, which is a little more like a professional portafilter basket where the only back pressure is coming from the grounds themselves. So to put that in easier terms to swallow, this machine is gonna be able to kind of help you get started. And then it also has some more advanced options for someone who's kind of got the, the hang of things and wants to step it up to get even closer to that kind of cafe shot. It's also got a great steam wand here. And just overall, this machine is really high quality for the cost of entry. So you're gonna need a grinder to go with the machine. And our favorite kind of get started espresso grinder is gonna be the Eureka Minion Note here. So this is a no frills grinder. As you can see, it doesn't have any kind of screens or dials on it really. Basically what it's got is your grind adjust and your on off switch. The reason that this is a great grinder for getting started is one, it offers pretty high quality sort of prosumer components and build quality for an affordable price. It's also got this stepless grind adjust here, which is a little more difficult to kind of learn to use, but we think it's worth learning to use these grind adjusts early if you are eventually wanting to be kind of more of that enthusiast, because what this does is it moves the burrs up and down like a screw rather than notched gears like kind of what you get from step adjusts. So a step grind adjust can still do a good job, but this sort of screw stepless adjust has infinite settings essentially. So you can dial in any espresso you like and you really kind of come to understand the process of grinding coffee and how that interacts with the brewing process. So really, really great machine for anybody on your list who's looking to get started for a really great grinder for, uh, for, for espresso grinding. This is definitely more of an espresso grinder than a brew grinder, but if that's what they're looking to do, this is a great option. And then we've got some of the smaller stuff, right? So if you don't have the budget for a larger gift or if you're just purchasing a gift for, for you know, say a friend, these are gonna be some great options. So we've got this Fellow Eddy milk pitcher. So most of these machines are gonna come with some kind of milk pitcher, but this one is really, really nice for kind of getting started in learning to steam milk because it's hard to tell on camera, but it's got a little bit of a taper to it as it goes up, which is really nice for the way the swirling motion that you do with the portafilter and with the steam wand. So you're gonna get have an easier time making really good milk texture. It's also, this is also a little bit hard to see, but it's got ounce demarcations inside of it. So if you just want to pour like six ounces of milk specifically, you've got that in here and you can read it easily as you pour. So this is a really great milk pitcher for pretty much anybody, but it's gonna be really helpful to learn on as well. Next up, I've got this Rhino Coffee Gear Shop Pitcher. So the reason we like these so much and think this is a really worthwhile pickup for anybody, whether you're new to espresso or not, is because it marks on the side in millimeters and in ounces. Measurement is really, really important anytime you're making any kind of coffee and the same is true for espresso. So obviously if you can weigh your grounds and weigh your shots, that's the 
absolute best way to make sure that you're dialing your shots in appropriately. But a shot picture like this can at least help you with these markings on the side. And it's always a good idea to have those extra forms of measurement too. So you really understand the whole process of grinding, brewing, and pulling the shot so that you've got a, a full feel for your drink and for, for the espresso that you're pulling. So really great. And then finally, we've got a bag of Tony's Seattle Coffee Gear collaboration, which is our crew brew uh, coffee. This is a really great coffee in particular for anybody who's kind of learning to dial in a grinder for espresso because it's really easy to work with. Uh, it's a medium roast and it tastes really, really good when you get it dialed in. Uh, the, the folks at Tony's did a really good job putting this roast together and roasting it, and we love it. If you are looking for a coffee-focused gift and you either are not sure what kind of coffee they might like, or if you have some coffees in mind that you wanna send someone, we also have gift subscriptions, which are a really great way to sort of send a gift of coffee that's gonna be a little more dynamic and maybe introduce them to something they haven't had before. So this is a really great spread. Like I said, for anybody who's looking to get into coffee, that person on your gift that's sort of the wannabe barista, we hope that this has been helpful for you and maybe helped you check another name off of your gift list. If you have any gift ideas for new or kind of aspiring home enthusiasts for espresso, be sure to drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and get subscribed for more gift guides and other holiday content. Thanks.